Hello, my name is Malcolm Saunders. I'm from the Light Cellar. I here have on the call with me Robert Dale Rogers from Edmonton. He was a professional member of the American Herbalist Guild and an amateur mycologist. He's also the chairman of the Medicinal Mushroom Committee of North American Mycological Association and on the editorial board of the International Journal of Medicinal Mushrooms. Among many other things, a uh, connection that uh, Robert and I had, he was one of our top speakers at the 2012 Medicinal Mushroom Symposium with David Wolf, Yarrow, and Terry Willard and myself. He gave an incredible presentation sharing the science and research that he's been personally involved in with the use of medicinal mushrooms. We're going to be having him down in Calgary on October 5th for a full day learning all about medicinal mushrooms, sharing him sharing his wisdom. So excited to have him on the call today to just give us a little bit of a preview of who he is, the work he's up to, and why he loves mushrooms. One of the books that uh, I have in my personal library, we also sell it in the shop, definitely cannot call it a pocket field guide because it is quite substantial, but definitely a very, very excellent reference guide, The Fungal Pharmacy, The Complete Guide to Medicinal Mushrooms and Lichens of North America. I would say it's a must of anyone into mushrooms who needs it for a, a great, fantastic, in-depth resource book. How long did that take you to write? I mean, that's very substantial. I know at one point it was a, a smaller, almost more of a hand uh, pocket field guide, but you've definitely fleshed it out and uh, very impressive and a great density of information you've got in there. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, well, uh, it, it, I would say all in all, it took about 10 years. Uh, it started out in smaller editions. In fact, it started out as a 32-page uh, a Xerox uh, thing that I passed around to friends. And, and then uh, I did a smaller book in 2006 called The uh, Fungal Pharmacy uh, uh, medicinal mushrooms of Western Canada, kind of limiting my, my audience, of course, and and then in 2011, the newest one came out, and uh, yeah, I, thank you very much for your kind words. Uh, it's uh, an area of great interest to me, and I love sharing it. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. When did you first get into mu mushrooms? Did do you remember that magical moment, like where you were, what mushroom it was, what captured your your imagination, your fascination, and and what's been a lifelong pursuit? and relationship with mushrooms? Well, you know, I could go way back to my early uh, 20s when uh, I came upon uh, psilocypes on the West Coast, but but I would say my major interest in mushrooms came about because uh, my uh, profession is a an herbalist and uh, a bioregional boreal forest uh, herbalist. And I did that, and I have been doing that over 40 years. But, you know, about around 10 years ago, I... I really ran out of plants in my part of the world uh, to really investigate thoroughly. And I started looking around and I realized that mushrooms and lichens I knew very little about. So I joined the local uh, Alberta Mycological Society and and all of a sudden a whole new world opened up. Yeah, that's amazing. And you, you sat on the board and have been a chair of that Mycological Association as well. Uh, yeah, I chair uh, the Medicinal Mushroom Committee for NAMA, and uh, I'm hoping to get uh, more interest. There is quite a bit of interest among the membership, and just just sharing uh, new knowledge. And uh, as new studies come out, we uh, hope to be posting those on the website. And uh, and also, my uh, research is ongoing. I, I can't stop, really. Uh, it is a fairly uh, large volume, uh, the latest book, but really every year, new Research is really showing more and more the depth of, of uh, an understanding that we have of medicinal mushrooms and their great contribution they can do to health and well-being. Yeah, and one of the things that I've you know definitely been uh, really enjoyed about your talk at the Medicinal Mushroom Symposium was you shared some of the, your personal experience, clinical experience, um, you know, as a herbalist and as a scientist and researcher using the mushrooms, is there, you know, kind of a highlight that, of some of the studies that you've personally been involved with that you want to share? Well, I would say that uh, one of the greatest uses when I had a clinical practice was, was using various mushrooms like reishi or turkey tail uh, uh, as an adjunct therapy with other modalities for people who are undergoing uh, oncology uh, for cancers. Uh, that is uh, chemotherapy and radiation, two you know kind of standards of the biomedical world for for cancers. 
really take a toll on the body and, and many clinical trials have shown that medicinal mushrooms help to uh, prevent the degradation of the immune system while that process is going on and for use afterwards to restore normal immune function. And so that's one of the more exciting parts of uh, medicinal mushrooms for me. Yeah, it's amazing um, how they're they're popping up in the number of studies and applications that they're being used for. And yeah, people are being drawn to them. They're they're such powerful allies and really needed in this time. So, thank you for the work that you do in in bringing the awareness because people we're waking up to what our options are beyond our kind of limited suggestions from our conventional paradigm. And we're returning to the earth medicines and definitely the the mushrooms and all that they represent are powerful allies in, in our healing and definitely in our waking up as well. So I just kind of wanted to do a, a short little interview and uh, just maybe to, to leave us with your favorite mushroom. Can you talk about uh, one that you particularly uh, enjoy, have had a relationship with over the years, and do you believe in the, the, essentially this idea of them being a tonic, something that you can take every day? I know a lot of people are very, very keen into reishi. Is there one that sticks out for you? Well, I use a number of different uh, fruiting body and mycelium mu mushroom powders in our in our our morning shakes. We often have uh, green smoothies to start our day, my wife and I, and and uh, we always put a different powder in there. I would say the one that interests me and fascinates me the most lately is the uh, red belted conch, the Fomatopsis pinacola, and uh, what I'm interested in studying more, hoping to get. Uh, a little more research money for it is that there is a, a sweating or a, what they call a mutation from these young polypores. That is, they actually, it looks like it was dew that settled on them in the morning, but actually not. It's actually an excretion from those mushrooms. And they're the only ones that I know that do that. And uh, when you taste that, it has a very distinct, you know, salty, bitter kind of a flavor. And I'd like to know what's in there. So we're going to do some analysis and find out actually what that mushroom is expressing and maybe that's a whole other direction of uh, research and, and study into medicinal benefit. Wow, yeah, I definitely recognize that. Uh, almost, yeah, what looks like a sweat or a dew drops covering it. And, yes. And so, wow, that's fascinating because who knows, right? I, many people probably haven't even questioned what is that and what are its properties. Definitely there's a lot of research leading into the spores of mushrooms. And, yeah, I'm very, very uh, interested uh, on this October 5th date that we have you joining us for. It's going to be a full day. Obviously, you'll be going into, you know, how to use mushrooms as teas, but you're also going to be talking about the homeopathic usage, fungi essences, as well as the spiritual properties. So it's going to be a very well-rounded, diverse day delving deep. I mean, we've got all day. It's going to be amazing. So I really encourage anyone who's curious about mushrooms or even has a really good, solid foundation about mushrooms to come to this day because I know you're going to take it deep and deeper for everyone and uh, don't be intimidated if you haven't learned anything about mushrooms yet this will be a great introduction as well as an in-depth course and thanks so much for being on the call with me today and I look forward to seeing you Saturday October 5th at the Light Cellar in Calgary see all the details below we also have a link to Robert's website so you can contact him Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Look forward to it. Okay, wonderful.